called us to order at 2.06 p.m. on October 15th. We are at the library and we have some folks on Zoom today. <laughs> All right. All right. So, Roland, do you have any minutes today? We don't. No minutes. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> um, moving right along. So, we got... So both, both boards uh, shared, um, voted to share different survey results, or at least it's Mark wrote them, not sure, but the library board. Um, so just to keep it um, congruent, do we want to, maybe we should just take a quick vote and say um, yes to sharing those survey results when the time comes. Okay. I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's good. Okay, who, who, who made the motion? I'll move it. We'll just do it backwards. I'll move it. Okay. I'll Andy, second it. Andy made the motion. Linda. Linda made a second. We'll call vote. Linda? Yes. Roland? Yes. Alex? Yes. Annie? Yes. Amy? Yes. Crystal? Yes. Beautiful. Moving right along. Okay, so we met this morning um, with Kimmy Horn. Um, one of the things we should talk about is um, discuss whether or not we want to continue offering the surveys. And so as you know, uh, we had three different surveys going all, going all at the same time. Um, and we only got around 100 survey results, whereas Mark Grove got 300. Um, so would anyone have any objection to us continuing the survey? Should we try to get some more respondents or do we want to work with the hundred that we got? When is the deadline to have this information in? So there's no real deadline. Um, I guess. So here, here's what they told me, the consultants, um, one, the survey is an open-ended survey. There's no due date. Um, there's no close date. Um, so we can do this forever if we really wanted to. Um, and what the consultants told me is what they do at the public hearings is they give everyone a paper copy of the survey to have them fill out. So probably until the end of the year, for us at least. I don't know if anyone has any objections to that. I think it's a great idea. I think the more the merrier. Yeah. 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 And maybe we can make an effort to get a few more people. Okay. That. And um, Alex, were you yeah. able to get the survey responses from uh, Winfield, from the elder house, uh, senior housing? I think I got one um in the mail no so far was remember i had asked if anyone can go um i had set up a box uh for them to oh fill up. yeah oh, for them to oh my goodness no i did not check whoops i'll go check later today okay yeah mm -hmm. i set up a box for you know those who do not have good internet to actually fill out the survey and mm -hmm. then i put down that the box would be picked up so they wouldn't have to go to town hall to drop it off so hopefully Got maybe it. there's more now because i hope so summer this was done the first meeting right yeah okay do you, all right do you think it'd be still there crystal um, or do you think they would pick it out I can, I can definitely, if you didn't didn't think you can make it over there today, I can definitely make it over today um, and see if we need more flyers or surveys to go over there. I can let you know. Or you I, can, can I can go over and drop some off and see what they have in their box. Yeah. Um, that, so and um, as, I can do that. As soon as you walk in, hopefully mm -hmm. everything is still there. You'll see the cardboard box with the sign above it or in letting people know so those are the ones we'd want to pick up yeah so we still and we still have surveys being done at the senior center and the library and the town hall so i haven't removed them the people okay. are still pulling them out too okay I, and i also did check the hadley sugar shack i'm wondering if anyone has gone by there to check to see if there were any flyers because i noticed we didn't have any physical flyers just the one flyer with this the code on there the qr code i didn't 
realize there. Did you put some uh, surveys there in North Hadley? I did. Uh, that, okay. I could check today. Okay. And drive by there. Okay. If you don't mind, yeah. yeah. Um, um, and, before, and then let me give you a couple of my cards too before okay. um, we, I have to go back to the office and grab them. Sure. And also, if possible, can you give her a few paper copies just in case someone yeah. would like to fill it out? Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you for doing that, Crystal. Thank Apologize I didn't call through that. Um, but I'll check my fill today. Definitely. Do um, we have a bunch of paper copies for the town meeting? We could totally, we definitely have enough copies for town meeting. That's a great idea. And also, I am having a library meeting uh, tonight. I can definitely bring some to the friends uh, with my meeting tonight if you have any that you can print out for me. Um, I could I could drop some I could drop some at the library. The library already has some at their front desk. Yeah. No, I mean physically hand it to the friends. Yeah, no, yeah. So oh, you I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. Just in case I, I'm just going by the bandwidth and the internet, just in case someone's internet is not as strong or they don't have enough gigabytes mm -hmm. or so to actually access the internet, at least they'll have yeah. the physical copy. Um yeah, what time's your meeting, Crystal? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Okay, perfect. I can draw some up. Okay. Thanks, Alex. Yeah. That can be done. Um hi Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> hi, Jennifer. Hello, sorry I was late. I was on the phone. Um All good. keep him busy. Just remember for town meeting though, we need to ask Kirk Watley for permission. To have things at town meeting, you have to ask the moderator's permission. Could you forward me his email, Jennifer? Can do. Thank you. I will totally do that. Um, all right. And then anything else on surveys? Anyone? Amy, do you want paper copies for your uh, the bank? Oh, I can, I I have some. I can put do? some out. Yeah, because I have one copy, so I can just make photocopies of it. Perfect. Thank you very much. Um. All right. Um, and then interview update. So I would, So Annie has been interviewed so far by them. Um, we have a gentleman from the hospital who hopefully they continue has been interviewed by our consultants as well, along with um, Patrick from the library. And there's one more, I believe. Who else was it? There's, there's definitely someone else interviewed. Okay. Um, so we're waiting on Campbell and Rogers and um, PD and Fire to do, to do the... Um, the interview. And um, there was a switch for PD instead of Mike, Ma Mike Mason, it would be Lieutenant uh, Jesse Green. Because as we all know, Mike's uh, juggling two different um, jobs right now. <laughs> so, um, did we ever actually get a vote on that? From I the think the vote? we all kind of got together formally and kind of just went with the yeah, we just, just do it okay um so um so we're waiting on those um crystal um could you nudge pamela for me yes i can great thank you sure. uh, and the and the and the consultants did send out emails today too so um i'm, I'm having heidi at the fire department nudge uh, mike and jesse over there so, um, so that's all I have on the Kimley Horn coordination meeting updates. Um, otherwise, it's going well on their end. They're doing they're doing the work right now. So, um, they told me once they get all the interviews in, they'll provide us something for us to review. Um, any questions for me or anything you want from the consultants? 
So what can we do to prep? That's what I was sort of asking before. We, at, uh, at the Senior Center and the Council on Aging, we have the ADF business group is assigned now to um, take care of technology, but also coordinate with the Digital Equity Steering Committee. Mm -hmm. And we just want to know what we can do to prep and get ready so we can quickly begin. So right now, they're, they're like I said, they already do new work. And way before I gave them a copy of the dementia friendly um, right. yeah. um, assessment, um, what, why don't you do this? If you can just send a blurb over, and I could talk to the consultant to see if they want to talk with your group. Okay. At some point, they might want to. Okay. Um, All right. Yeah, we have. Well, I'm meeting with them directly after this for an update. So. Okay. I can send you something probably tomorrow. Would you want me to tag along with you? Sure, if you want. What time? It's at three o'clock. You said. Yeah. Okay, I'll tag along. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah, because um, I don't think I've met with them before. That group before, so it'd be good to meet them. Okay. Um, get some more insight. Um, any other questions before we move along? Great. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, Crystal, I know you had some, uh, you went to the conference earlier um, last month, right? Yes, I went in September. Okay. And it basically, I was a I went as a commissioner for the Hadley Housing Authority, but there was so much other information to gather that the town themselves or the digital uh, equity committee can use. So what I did actually acquire, um, it's I'm hoping everyone can see this. Mm -hmm. uh, it's what it is. It's a it's an on on the phone translation um, operator. So for anyone that has relatives that speak a different language, um, they would call this phone number and they would reach someone who would actually tr um, translate what they're saying into the language that they would like it to be during their conversation. Um, I do have, again, the information. I can somehow um, provide it to the committee so that everyone can take a look at it, but it's a service and they speak 250 languages. Hmm. Um, I did think I had other information uh, regarding internet, but I, for some reason, cannot find it. I thought I would be able to, but I'm just thinking maybe it was just that flyer. Okay. For the assistance with the, uh, because I know there's a lot of elderly people and you know, some people uh, speak different languages and mm. they may be on FaceTime. They may want to speak to their relatives, but do not have a way of translating that efficiently so that they can have a full on conversation. We also have people here that uh, are from different countries and they'd like to speak with some of their uh, family members possibly, and this can help as well. But it is something that's that's on demand. Uh, I can read a little bit about it as the International Translation Company provides excellent interpretation and translation services in over 250 languages and dialects, uh, including languages of lesser diffusion, which are spoken in Africa, Asia, and the Middle East, as well as the more widespread language of Latin American in Europe, now available on demand, video remote interpretation or over the phone interpretation. Mm. So as, as the video, I think maybe this would um, come into play with our committee as we're trying to expand our bandwidth. Maybe we can add this to it stating this would be something that can be efficient for our our committee, our community, um, on demand, online video assistance. So my one, one question is, it, is it already funded? Is, is there um, a fee that has to be assessed? Um, what, what's up on that front? 
that's that information is what you would find out when you speak to a representative because when i asked at the conference they gave me the flyer and they said when i do call i can get more information regarding the services if it's paid service if it's a contract and so forth so we don't know it's just something that i was thinking we can look into it's not something that i was deciding we can definitely use it we can look into it we can see if it can help Hadley or not, we you know we don't have to go forward with this at all. This is just yeah. I mean, the more that we can give, the more we can look into, and the more that um, our consultants can look into too would be awesome. Um, and they've been really receptive of uh, me giving them all kinds of additional information. Right. So, um, is there a way you can like scan that in and send it to everyone? Sure. It's trifled um, and both sides are written on. Cool. Awesome. Um, that's good. That's pretty good. I never knew, I didn't know that as a service. Um, so that, that'd be great for if we can, if that's something that we can do. Yeah. Um, anything else from Mass Narrow Crystal? Uh, like I said, it was mostly about the housing uh, information. Um, I did get information for sidewalk repair. Um, not sure that Hadley needs that. We we probably have a contract with uh, someone to do our town, as well as um, there's a solar person there, a company that provides solar at uh, a lesser cost that they said it would be. I have that information, but again, you know, I think Hadley is independent on each individual deciding on if they want to have solar and not as a community and a big project. Right, exactly. Um, does anyone have any other questions for Crystal? No, all right, awesome. All right, so I went to the uh, MBI um, Digital Inclusion Week event last Wednesday. Um, um, and it was more or less a award ceremony, but we got a lot out of it. I actually met Bill Scully, our, one of our consultants. Um, he attended, mm -hmm. so we actually had the opportunity to talk and eat lunch together. Um, there, there's, there's a couple things that um, I got out of it. Um, one is uh, on the broadband and uh, where we, as some of us may know, we have a couple of uh, areas in town that are not hooked up to the internet right now or hooked up to equitable broadband. I mean, you have internet, but it's not great internet. If a storm hits, we yeah, have nothing. Um, so I can't say much publicly about it because I am working with those residents, our legislative delegation, um and uh and charter hopefully so um there's there's a lot there's a lot of key key parts that are happening right now and a lot of information get verified and more information to come about that um it's more so i can get the gist of it there's something called the b challenge and what that's going that's a federal program and what that's going to do is the goal is to hook up the rest of the country where it's not hooked up. Mm -hmm. um, and Massachusetts got a good chunk of money for that. And MBI is um, going to administer that. So there's a lot going on there on that front. And then the Bernstein COA um, gave a presentation um, on some of the stuff that we do at their senior center, which I found really interesting. They have tablets that I like that you can actually see. There's big yes. buttons on them, um, and they have all kinds of, in that they have all kinds of cool, cool, a nice, nice little regional thing going on. That's where Bernstein, um, which is which borders Vermont. <laughs> so. Um, that's where the, um, so they have, and I'm going to hopefully going to meet her to, uh, pick her brain a little bit, see, let's look at what they do over there. I know that they got a grant a couple years ago to put in a, uh, 
like a decree lavender COA. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of good, good stuff came from that. Um, so yeah, a lot of good things happening from that event last week. You know, a lot to um, take action on. Any questions about my visit last week? No? Cool. All right. Discussion on the public hearing. Fair. So we got the date on December 10th, Tuesday. Um, slowly but surely getting some vendors, but I didn't really get many confirmations. It's going to work very hard this month to really get them from, to fruition. Um, and then um, action items. So we have the event venue all set ready to go. Um, I know one of the vendors that actually did confirm they're going to need they want some echo they want some uh, a stable internet connection. Um, and then, I mean, I mean, it's hopefully we get the vendors and all they got to do is bring like a tablecloth and some stuff they bring along mm -hmm. and all that. So not much. I don't know if there's many action items to do for that. Um, and obviously our consultants will be there too. Is the date's firm now? Date's firm now. Okay. It, was, it was uncertain, but it's now rock solid. Okay. And what date? You said November. I mean, December. December 10th. Um, and one second, give you some times. Yeah, so um, the actual event would start at three o'clock, and then our public hearing would be at six thirty. Um, and then I'm going to tell vendors to come at two o'clock. And just for people to know, where is this going to be held at again? Yeah, it's going to be at the uh, senior center in their big, big hall. Yeah, the big hall. Okay. Yeah. The dining area. Yes, the dining area. And so far, Alex, how many vendors did you say we have? So I got a couple. I got to get some com confirmations. We definitely have one set in stone. Um, so I'll double, like I said, I'm going to um, work, work, work a little more this month to get that in. Uh, we just have a lot. I just had a lead for that. Uh, we just had a lot going on last month before I just got mm. pulled in a different directions. Of course. So, Take your um, health. So that, that's still in the works. Um, yeah. Um, anyone have any questions? Concerns? Great. Um, topics for next meeting. Any anything that anyone wants to uh, bring up for next meeting? Well, it's nice to review the surveys. However, many we have. Okay. I mean, it would be nice to know, like, I I know, like, the computer lab at Bernardson and mm -hmm. several other programs that yeah. have been implemented in other towns. It would just be interesting to see what, what, for example, the library or other town organizations are thinking about. Mm -hmm. So we could, as I mentioned before, establish who we could collaborate with to Definitely, I can reach out to MBI and um, our consultants, see what they know in the field, okay. what, who's doing what. Uh -huh. um, there are some, oh, there are already some uh, digital equity plans that have been drafted yeah. in, in Hampshire County. Mm -hmm. I think uh, East Hampton and West Hampton have been done already. I think there's a couple in Franklin County okay. right now. Not much in Hampshire County. Um, 
but uh, I can I could look into that and I could send some uh, resources over to everyone. Okay. Uh, at least it's up I already know about. Well, it you know since. Anybody can, any senior can come into the senior center and mm -hmm. participate in any program. It would just be nice to be able to, um, like, coordinate a little bit on that. For sure, yeah. And I can maybe I could talk to Nikki, see what she can grab from other uh, surrounding senior centers that she's on that network. Yeah. She's in the meeting next, so it's cool to do it. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. We'll, we'll uh, fill two birds with one stone there. Okay. Um great. So we'll definitely I'll definitely um touch base with that and then we'll put on the agenda for next uh um okay. meeting. Amy, I remember you talking about going to Shrewsbury on a bank uh for bank business and uh asking a question about um their I municipal ISPs. Um I have I have not gone yet, but that's that is in the plan. It's in the works. I'm not sure what the date is, though, that we're going up. Perfect. That's fine. Um, if you let me know, I'd uh, love to put on the agenda for discussion. Great. Right. Cool. Perfect, perfect. Um, anything else? Great. I'd like these meetings to go pretty quick. Um, Motion to adjourn. All right, we got a motion to adjourn. Do we have a second? A second. All right. All right, motion made by Roland. 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 Second made by Crystal. Um, we're good to go.